everyone. Welcome back to The List. The restaurant, table number 10 in East Village, puts on a show with its cocktail concoctions that feature fire and dry ice. Larissa Wall sips her way around San Diego. Mind-blowing at number one. Don't expect just any old drink from table number 10's Mickey Shakers. Everything's being lit on fire or thrown in a beaker and it looks like a homemade bomb. <laughs> the upscale eatery specializes in creative cuisine and crafty cocktails. There's definitely a show that kind of comes with everything. And the bar like a science lab with beakers, dry ice and fire. Like a witch's brew. Most of the drinks, 12 to 25 bucks, are made for two, including the flux capacitator with a touch of lavender. When I bartend for myself, it's like, yeah, that's probably about an hour. The velvet smoke with mezcal. So not only is it going to be smoking, it's a smoky flavor. And the smoking gun, an old fashioned with a hot twist. Bottoms Cheers. Up. Cheers. Duck debate at number two. San Diegans are weighing in on social media after a judge lifted a California ban on foie gras, a delicacy made from fatty duck liver, made by force feeding the birds. Seersucker Del Mar, for one, has it back on the menu and says four orders sold in six minutes. Some call foul, saying the practice is cruel. The snake's perspective at number three. That's me, a boa constrictor, after I came out of an office toilet. What a rude welcoming. As soon as I realized that that was a snake, I booked it out of there, plunger still in hand, and screamed all the way to my desk. She was scared. I about shed my skin. The snake's head was huge. Animal control seemed so serious. Pulling the snake out, outreaching, and have like a little bit of its curled on its arm. All five feet of me on display. How embarrassing. People just creep me out. Now you're caught up and glued in around San Diego.